This is the Power Man board. This one's labeled Power Man V1. It's actually um, the second printed circuit board we have for this uh, project. And what this does is serve as a backup power supply for a Raspberry Pi. You know, I'm using a surplus gel cell from a UPS to serve as a backup. It doesn't have to be anywhere near that big, but those are really inexpensive, if not free. Um, so we'll use that. The system's design is to run off of a 13.8 volt power supply and charge and back up off of a gel cell and serve as the power on, power off controller for a Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi is running. The green LEDs on the left on the Power Man serve as the Linux is up light, the Linux is shutting down light, a packet radio node is running light, which actually scans for G8BPQ's LinBPQ program to be running on the uh, Linux. The blue light is an indicator that is driven by the Power Man CPU, which tells us its status. Right now it's blinking a dit da dit pattern, which means that the unit is in ready mode. It is up and running. The other two lights, the red and the green, are attached to buttons. The red light indicates that the Raspberry Pi is shutting down or is being told to shut down or there's an event that is going to eventually cause it to shut down. The, and that is driven by the Power Man CPU. The green LED and button are a command to bring the system back up. If you hit the green button now, nothing will happen. If you hit the red button right now, it will actually shut down the Raspberry Pi, and, and but first it will log off of Linux, cause that to terminate, and then it will bring the uh, Raspberry Pi down nicely. Uh, so now, observe the green LED on the Raspberry Pi would tell us that the Raspberry Pi's Linux is off when it flashes a regular pattern. And you can also see the screen in the background. I'm going to turn off the system. Now the blue LED switches to a pattern that's D, da, dit, dit, it's going down. The green light in the middle lit to say Linux is going down. And the screen has gone dark. And the Raspberry Pi is off, or at least it's idle, and so the system will turn it off. All gone. Okay, the uh, LED is now flashing a regular fast pattern of ease, which uh, tells us that the system is uh, offline. If I were to remove power from the main power supply, the unit will go into a low power mode, the power main will go into a low power mode, and, and one of the side effects is it will flash very infrequently. Okay, putting power back on. Actually, no, let's try turning the thing on with the green button with the power removed. What it will do, it'll just complain and nothing will happen. Okay, now applying power back, the blink rate goes back up. Hit the green button, Raspberry Pi is powered on and we'll start booting. Okay, the Raspberry Pi is mostly up. The packet node will come on in several seconds. The LED, which has been flashing a U pattern for up, now goes to the R pattern for ready. The node is up and running, as you can see. Now, the one test I would like to do is actually rather tedious. I'm going to remove the main power now and allow the thing to run off of a gel cell. Now what that's going to do, it's going to flash the red light on the uh, power man, which says I'm detecting my main power is gone. And now it's going to wait 2 minutes and 38 seconds before it removes power. So we can watch. I think I'm going to fast forward the video through this section, but you can see that the red LED is blinking. So I'm going to fast forward for about a minute here.
As you can see, the blink rate is slightly faster. It will continue to ramp up all the way to the point where the timeout expires and the unit will shut down the Raspberry Pi. I want to point out one other detail which is important, and that is the ribbon cable connector. The ribbon cable is polarized electrically, not mechanically. You can put it in backwards. It won't hurt the Raspberry Pi or the Power Man to do so. The Raspberry Pi uses a loopback wire through the 10-pin ribbon cable and can tell that the circuit is attached properly. The Raspberry Pi's background service, which is kicked off as part of the Tarpon packet radio suite, will check and see if the Power Man device is connected every 15 minutes and immediately after startup, of course. If the Power Man is not connected, it won't drive the GPIOs which test and inform the Power Man of its behavior. You can see the red LED is flickering faster and faster. Now in the Power Man version 3, whoop, just gone into shutdown. You can see the D dash dot dot on the blue LED and in the Raspberry Pi is turning off, it's idle now, and then we'll remove power. Just like that. Now the Power Man is in battery mode, so it's blinking very slowly. Now, interestingly, because we yanked power and the unit shut down automatically, it will remember that in fact it was supposed to be powered up. If I reapply power now, it'll come back up automatically to restore the uh, node operation. If, on the other hand, I had shut it down by hitting the red button, it would not have come back up automatically when power was removed and reapplied. The Power Man CPU stays active during this entire process. It won't die until the gel cell goes very flat. The good news is it draws very, very little power, so it really doesn't contribute very highly to the demise of the gel cell's power. So the Raspberry Pi is fully up now. I'm going to shut it down. And then I'm going to yank power and reapply it. And you'll see the thing will not come back. And that should complete our nine and a half minute movie. Okay, now watch the green light on the Raspberry Pi to tell us it's gone to idle. Nope, there already went. Okay, removing power. You see the blue blink light, blink rate goes um, slower. And reapply power after it blinks one more time. There you go. Now I'm going to reapply power. And the rate goes faster again. And the Power Man does not bring up power automatically. Or the Raspberry Pi automatically because it knows that you shut it down.